Hello and welcome back everyone to this live demo session on SAP Analytics Cloud Training with me and above. In this live demo session, we are going to talk about the basic capabilities of SAP Analytics Cloud with a scenario. I will take you through the basics of SAC and in this demo session, we will kick start our live training batch today. This training is designed for any consultant who is willing to master the latest SAP BI solution, Analytics Cloud, and we will be learning all the pillars of SAC in this course. So let's look at the agenda for this demo session today. We will start with introduction of what is Analytics Cloud. We will see what's the developer or user persona who uses Analytics Cloud, who is this course for, why to learn Analytics Cloud and the course outlook. We are going to also discuss a simple brief demo scenario and also talk about some of the frequently asked questions. Having said that, let's understand who is this course for. So this course is designed for any BI Bob J consultant who would like to embrace the change in the technology. So currently you are using business objects and you're seeing that most of your companies are nowadays moving to cloud based analytics. Hence, you would be a pioneer and a torch bearer to take ahead your analytic journey for your company. This training is designed for a BW consultant who would like to use their existing BI models like back queries into analytics cloud with both acquired and live data connections. Or if you are a scrum professional who is leading a team for analytics, this training is going to help you giving a complete big picture and a depth idea on Analytics Cloud and its offerings to plan the future strategy for analytics in your company. Also, this training can be attended by any SAP consultant. Even college students can learn this training because you will learn, start from basics, how to build and start your journey with analytics using SAP Analytics Cloud. This training doesn't require too much of programming skills, too much of coding skills, Hence, anyone can learn and build beautiful analytics in SAP Analytics Cloud. So let's see what are all the what is Analytics Cloud. So SAP Analytics Cloud is a software as a service offering like Gmail. Just the way you use Gmail, you don't have to install any server in your company. You start the browser and access the Gmail. On the same fashion, you can access SAP Analytics Cloud directly from the browser. The customers don't need to install and invest in hardware upfront. So the upfront cost of setting up this analytic tool is very low. And you will be paying the, the amount in a subscription fees to SAP. It's a complete solution to, uh, to uh, offer BI planning, predictive and designer capabilities. SAP Analytics Cloud is complete, which means it provides end to end decision making with analytical capabilities at one single place. It helps businesses to take confident decision. It, you can make a smarter decision with powered by machine learning and AI driven insights directly to the business users. It is contextual. You can gain enterprise ready insights from different, different angles, different perspectives and visualize the actions for your business processes. It also turns insights to actions using closed loop scenario. You will also be able to write the data back to SAP systems. So this is one great advantage when it comes to SAC. Why to learn SAP Analytics Cloud? So as some of you are already working with the solutions which are which are in the analytical area and you are seeing there is a shift happening from these classic solutions towards Analytics Cloud. So if your company is using Bob J Explorer like Rombi, Lumira Desktop and Discovery, Bob J Analysis for OLAP, later on all these things or already these things are moving to SAC permanently. If you are doing dashboard and application design using Bob J Designer Studio or Bex Web App Designer or Bob J Dashboard, then you only have two options now. Either you go with Lumira which is again going to be maintained till 2024 afterwards. Anyway, you all have to go to Analytics Cloud. If you are willing to do reporting using desktop intelligence and Bob J set analytics, you can currently go ahead and use Bob J Crystal Report, 
but eventually the same can be done with analytics cloud as well then comes this planning so your company is today using a on-premise solution so called bpc business planning and consolidation if you want to do planning in cloud you don't have any much option out there the only option you have in the cloud for planning is analytics cloud of course BP, bpc system continues to be maintained and it's going to be there for a long time now but if your company is willing to do planning and they wanted to use a cloud solution then analytics cloud could be a, could be a good choice to get started with so these are the main motivations to learn sap analytics cloud for me as a consultant so what are we expecting in this training this training covers as i mentioned end to end overview and depth deep dive inside the concepts of sse so we have uh, basically broken down this training into four phases for you we will talk about bi planning predictive and designer capabilities all four are part of this training so in the bi we will learn the features of bi including digital boardroom experience we will talk about the basics of measures dimensions models modeling types different types of model like bi model planning model acquired model live model yes the new model concept also we will discuss in sac then going to planning we will learn planning jargons including end to end planning scenarios like simulations allocations data actions value driver trees a lot of these things related to the planning then we move to the machine learning which is called predictive area where we will utilize the machine learning where sac brings machine learning to the business users and you can utilize the smart assist features to be able to build and design analytics powered by machine learning without python or without any coding experiences we will learn here regression classification and time series scenarios then we have finally the analytic designer analytic designer is a place where you can create custom application utilizing different scenarios custom scenarios using different types of widgets and build complex and complicated uh, analytical application including a closed loop scenario where you can write the data back to your bw system or s4 hana system so we will also cover live data connection with bw with s4 hana with sap hana cloud and bi systems along with that lots of different acquired data connections are also part of this training so what is our demo scenario so our demo scenario is inspired by most recent tokyo olympics many countries have participated in tokyo olympics so what i have got the data this time i've got all this data available in my sap s4 hana system and i will take you through this demo scenario and in this we will be building this different different kinds of analytics without any coding and you will see how easy it will be the best part of this demo scenario it is very close to real time where i will consume the data from a real sap s4 hana system where my data is present in sap system and we will load the data from that system to analytics cloud and then we will build analytics in order to achieve this we will be taking this path so first we will create uh, a connection to our sap s4 hana system our sac system to s4 hana system we will use a data model called cds view and then we will build a model in sac after we create a model which is a foundation for building dashboard we will build a dashboard in analytics cloud and finally add the drill down capabilities so what are we waiting for let's get started right away to the system and build our scenario now before we move on i would like to explain you what exactly uh, in detail where what exist today in our system so as of now what i have today is for you a sap s4 hana system here this sap s4 hana system has a data model this data model is called cds view what is cds view we are going to cover the basics of cds view in unit number 17 for all of you but right now just understand it's a data model like a simple view which is aggregating the data coming out of database table so there are database tables in system and you create views on top those who come from bw think of this as a back query yeah so this is a query view and this is going to expose olympics data and on the other side we have our sap analytics cloud system sac where i am going to create a connection this connection is going to contact our sap s4 hana system securely to load the data so all the data will be loaded from this system in analytics cloud 
and behind the scene it use HANA database so everywhere all the data will be loaded inside the HANA once this is done in the next step I will load this data and build a data model in SAC and the next and last step is we will build a dashboard in the SAC system so first and foremost thing you need to understand the data model what we have and that is why I have taken this easy example which anyone can relate even you are not coming from a functional background in SAP world because everyone has watched Olympics and you all know every country contributes to Olympics they come they send their best athletes into the Olympics and then they try to win as many medals as they want of course the hunt is always there for the gold so this is the data set so let me show you first this data model here so this is my data model in created don't worry about this data model right now this is not our responsibility to be created typically by a SAP ABAP on HANA consultant if somebody willing to join ABAP on HANA training you are also most welcome we have that as a separate training but for now just understand this is a data source this is a data model which is basically a CDS view in S4 HANA however I'm going to cover basics of CDS in unit number 17 if I run this F8 you will see it uh, has all the countries and the gold medal silver medal bronze medal and total medals these countries have won yes this is the data set very simple data set anyone can understand no need uh, to basically go in in detail here it's very very straightforward data set so now I am going to start my analytics cloud system and here what I will do is I will create a data model so I will go to analytics cloud system so when you start SAC system usually it starts from a home page like this from here we switch to the data model and data model is foundation for all the data set in in analytics cloud any dashboard or story you want to build you start always first a data model yeah we will discuss more about the model basics in unit number three more in detail so for now I can go ahead and use create a data from data model before I started our class today, I have also created a connection to the S4 HANA system, which I showed you a few seconds ago. So here you can see I have already created a S4 HANA acquired data connection before this session started. So I will also explain how I created this when we start our actual classes. So you will see how to also create and connect your company system as well like this with analytics cloud. So we have different types of connection like live connection, Yes, live BW connection, live S4 HANA connection, different different connections are there. We will be learning all of it in our classes, regular classes. So let's go now and create a model. And we will use data from data source. And now we will choose here a connection for SAP S4 HANA. And now I will of course choose my connection, SAP S4 HANA connection. And then I will click on next. So it is contacting my SAP S4 HANA system and it is fetching the details of all the available analytical queries out there. So of course we have our analytical query created here. I will just grab the name. This is something which an ABAP consultant will tell you. So you can put that analytical query here and search. So now it is searching this analytical query. You can see it's found and I can select this query and say next. Now I can just drag drop all the properties in uh, in the context to load the data and we can click on create. So now what happens is system will fetch all the data and you can see the data is getting loaded. It is contacting our S4 HANA system and whatever records are present are getting loaded eventually into the analytics cloud system. So now if I click you will see all the data would have got loaded yes so let it take time yeah so you can see here it has got all the countries country names and the medals medal count for each of the country what we saw in s4 hana this data is now copied from from s4 hana system to analytics cloud so now what we will also additionally do here is since my s4 hana system is not providing any coordinate details I'm going to construct the coordinates on the fly and in order to do that we will just select the team NOC the country name and we will choose the option for geo enrichment using second option called area name so we select area name and now we will choose here the country and region field 
and that is our team NOC field. We click on create now and automatically system will detect all the countries and their coordinates will be assigned automatically by analytics cloud. You can see now we have got a new field called area which looks like a special type of column called geospatial data. You can also scroll down and cross check if all the countries have been picked up properly. So you can see the Taiwan was not picked properly here because maybe SAP Analytics Cloud is unable to detect this at the moment. You can also replace this on the fly. So you can come here and you can you know replace this on the fly or what you can also do is you can remove the data. So let me remove the data for time being. I will delete this value. So all these data updates which we can do which is called data wrangling. Now my data quality is very good. So having said that let's create the model. And it will save the model in SAP Analytics Cloud system. So next time when the data update happens all these transformations which we applied will also be taken care into the consideration when the data update happens. We are going to discuss that frequent data updates automatic data updates in model in our unit number six in SAC course. But now our model is ready. So let's go back to the slide. By far we saw the connection. We created a model. We geo enrich the data in the model and we also now going to create a dashboard. So that is our step number three. So let's go back to the system and we will build a story now. Now stories are nothing but dashboards and to build a story you need a model. Now whether this model is built using a data coming from BW or S4 system or it could also be from an Excel file. So a canvas a story or a page will always need a model. It doesn't matter where the data is coming from. So let's create a canvas page. And I will choose a chart and I will also review the requirements what we want. So first we want to show country wise total medals in a geo map. So the first requirement is to create a geo map. So I choose geo map. The moment I choose that system ask us to now uh, create and link it with to a model. So to do that we will add a layer. And we say country wise model. And now, so in order to plot the country data now in the geo map, I need to set a model. You can see my layer has no model at the moment. And if I go for change, I can now choose the model which we just created few seconds ago. So let's choose the model. And so let me choose chloropath layer and choose our dimension. You can see the dimension is coming as area. And next what we will do is the color will we will choose based on the number of medals each country has won. So in the chloropath layer I will now choose number of total medals each country has won. That will decide the color differently. So I select total medal. And system can automatically set this. In the map. So you can see countries which has got highest medals are displayed in the light color. Countries which has got low medal are displayed in the gray color. So you can see the Republic of China and also the, the Olympic Committee of Russia. They have got highest medal and based on this color coding the number of medals are decided in the each country. So this is uh, how the map can be constructed. So having said that let's move to the next requirement. So our next requirement is to show distribution of medal per country in a donut chart. So let me show top five countries which has got how many models. So I'm going to insert a new chart. From more options and we will choose it as a donut chart. And now here we will choose the measure as let's say gold medal and I will choose dimension as my country. So let's choose here country and we are interested in top five countries. So go to more options and rank only top five. So these are the top five countries which has gone gone ahead and they've gone the top five gold medals in these countries. OK, so let's move to the next requirement. So our next requirement is show a table of country type of medal count. So let's create a table so you can also do reporting using analytics cloud. For that we have table control. We add a new table control and let me just bring it down 
by dragging it at the bottom and we will add here all the rows as country names and we will add measures as the total gold medals silver medals bronze medals and total medals you can see we've got also the total medal data for each country as a next step we wanted to show total uh, table of medal won by each country so let's also come down and can create a table out uh, a chart out of this with breakdown of medals by these countries so for that i will add a another chart control and this time it's going to be special chart type of called stack bar chart i will choose that and now i will choose here again country and we will say total silver gold and bronze medals and then i am going to choose a dimension as country so now you can see it is a stack chart and maybe i am only again want to sort this in descending order depending on the gold medals so you can see this is the break breakup of each of the country in terms of their medals in descending order so usa has got highest then china then japan then uk and then russia these are all the countries how their breakup of gold silver and bronze medals are displayed here okay the last requirement here is to show a drill down or enable a drill down so what i wanted to do is i wanted to select a country in the map and based on that i want my entire set of charts and tables to automatically change based on that so that is basically a drill down capability what we can do so suppose if i click on india then it should automatically show here everything for india so let's select the map and we choose more options and then we have an option called linked analysis we click on that and now we choose here all the widgets on the page and please filter all the widgets on the page based on data point selection click apply and now watch out we switch to the view mode for our dashboard and now here i will click one country for example i click india watch out the donut watch out here the chart and the table i click india and there you go we have got here total number of gold silver and bronze medals in india we've got total seven medals and you can see table also filtered we can do control and click china and russia so total three countries have selected or maybe I, I right now not uh, selecting multiple, we're just selecting one of them. Yes, so let's say I select China, so we can see here breakdown of total China medals. Or if I select Russia, then you can see breakdown of Russian medals in the table and my chart. So this is how the drill down capability also works. And as you saw, there is no coding required to build such an amazing analytics. So this is why we took the example of Olympics, wherein you will not be uh, not required to learn too much of uh, functional and technical skills, and you can easily build a dashboard using SAP Analytics Cloud. So I hope you enjoyed our use case. It was a simple, understandable use case by everyone and anyone can learn analytics cloud so let me move on to some of the frequently asked questions by many of you so first question is is there any prerequisite to learn analytics cloud so with anubhav trainings there is no prerequisite it's zero prerequisite and we will cover all of it for you from the beginning we will also include the introduction of sap cloud platform bw analytics bi database hana and s for hana all of it is part of our training itself what are all covered in this course so this course covers everything you need to know as per sac certification which includes bi planning predictive designer digital boardroom live and acquired data connection it's a all-in-one course you don't have to look forward for anything else apart from it so where do i practice what about server so sap is providing a fee 90 day trial server we can utilize that for our training purpose it has every capability which i'm going to show some topics i will also show you additionally from my side on my server so we can utilize it for free in 90 day and in the next class i will show you guys how to set up a trial account for yourself will you also show live data connection if yes which system so i will show you live data connection with s4 hana bpc bw and hana in cloud all of it i will be covering in the classes 
how to enroll for this course and what's the duration the total duration of this training is 40 hours and the process is very straightforward just send us an email on contact at anubautrainings.com and you will be signed up for this training where can i find the complete course content so you can go to our course page on anubautrainings.com slash analytics cloud training and there you can check out the complete course content and also a teaser video on sse course in that teaser video in three minutes of time we have explained to you what is that all what you're going to learn in this training so will i also get a study material yes we will provide you all the necessary study material available on public domain so that you can access additionally you will also get the slides which i will prepare during the classes is this training real time yes this is a training which covers real time scenarios and case studies with exercises step by step even understanding of use case and writing specification documents what about sse certification so guys this training is very much aligned as per certification topics we will share the tips and tricks to crack certification exam including the questions which are asked usually in interviews can i also attend a course in video mode in case if i miss a class yes you can attend this training in video mode completely so every live classes we record them and we publish them so that you can watch the videos in case you miss any class so you can also go through completely in video mode if you have a urgent need in your company to become ssc consultant you can also take complete training of my previously already completed batch in the video mode having said that that's the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed this demo on sac see you in our next session which is planned tomorrow have a nice day and goodbye